Morning world, it's um, stupid o'clock in the morning on the 19th, way too early for me. And we've got six planets in Pisces, well, I don't quite know what to say. Everywhere out there is quiet. I'm used to coming in at this time in the morning and seeing lots of bustle in the streets, but no, everything is quiet. There's a stillness out there. And a big part of me says, hey, if it's working, don't fix it. No need to put your head above the parapet today. We've got Venus and Mars together at the end of Pisces. Well, Mars isn't fond of Pisces and Mars is itching to get into Aries, which he will do in um, about 18 hours from now. Venus, on the other hand, loves it in Pisces. It can just flow and be empathic and intuitive. So at the moment, Venus is definitely top dog with regard to the conjunction of Venus and Mars. But give it another 48, 24 hours and Mars is going to be in the ascendancy when both Venus and Mars move into Aries in the next day or so. We've got Chiron in Pisces also, currently in conjuncting Jupiter and trining Pluto. Chiron's in Pisces for seven years. It's generational. It's no big deal, but it does suggest that um, there is a gradual consensual awakening to issues of self, self-abuse, self-degradation, putting oneself down, being the sacrificial victim. And I think the days of victimhood and martyrdom are beginning to draw to a close. Similarly, with Neptune in Pisces, and as I speak, the Moon conjunct Neptune in Pisces, you don't get much more intuitive, empathic and sensitive than Moon conjunct Neptune in Pisces. Talk about walking psychic sponge. However, it does suggest that at this time the intuitive capacity of the world is very, very high. There's going to be a lot of psychics and mediums and channelers and intuitives today picking up a lot of stuff from a number of different areas. People's intuitions all over the place are going to be on red alert. There's all types of phenomena out there which people are going to be a lot more sensitive to than normal today. And of course the sun's in Pisces as well. Brewing up for conjunction to Neptune and indeed the sun, the moon and Neptune are all squaring Saturn, giving it a bit of bite suggesting that Saturn's not going to let us get away with total Piscean indulgence and hedonism, but there needs to be a degree of hard work. But even if you take the individual influences of all of these six planets in Pisces together as individuals, it doesn't make much sense because they all mean different things. But if you put them all together, the capacity at this time for a sense of um, natural and organic intuitive flow, the ability for us to stop the logical, rational, analytical merry-go-round and just for one day to trust that area three inches below the navel and one inch back from the navel and to close our eyes when we make our decisions and to trust our guts and to trust our internal knowing, our internal learning, our intuition. Today is a day where intuition is sky high and you're either going to trust yourself and believe what you're feeling and sensing and intuiting or you're not and if you're not well there's a there's a, there's an off license which sells cider or brandy down the road or there's a drug dealer down there or there's a church over there and you know you can go away and get your piscean escapism and avoidance and addiction if you want alternatively you can wake up and smell the coffee and you can realize that the human race is actually a sensitive organism. That we have feelings and emotions. We are not just creatures of logic and rationality. And that we do feel, we emote. We have the capacity for care and nurturing and empathy and compassion and sensitivity and sensuality. All of these are good Piscean's words. And without all of these things, the nature of Pisces will just descend into self-pity and self-remorse. So like I said yesterday, yesterday and today, days where we can actually do our souls the world of good. Go out there and smile at people. Do be nice to people. Look after the homeless, look after the hungry. Just today, just give a little bit more. And you know what? I don't believe in conscience. I don't believe you can have a good, you, you, you get a better life next time because you help someone this time. That's, that's, that's rubbish. But it is important to have a good conscience. And as Richard Bach said 
in his wonderful book, Illusions, from the 1970s, 80s, I don't know. Your conscience is the measure of the honesty of your selfishness. I'll say that again. Your conscience is the measure of the honesty of your selfishness. Listen to it carefully. Have a great day. Catch you later. Bye.